Previously, we learned about the first server rendering strategy, namely static rendering. Now, let's dive into our second strategy, dynamic rendering. Dynamic rendering is a server rendering strategy where routes are rendered uniquely for each user when they make a request. It is useful when you need to show personalized data or information that is only available at request time, things like cookies or URL search parameters. News websites, personalized shopping pages, and social media feeds are some examples where dynamic rendering is beneficial. Now that we understand what is dynamic rendering and when to use it, you might be wondering how do we actually implement it? How do we tell Next.js that we want a particular route to be dynamically rendered? Well, it is quite straightforward. Next.js automatically switches to dynamic rendering for an entire route when it detects what we call a dynamic function or dynamic API. In Next.js, these dynamic functions are cookies, headers, connection, draft mode, search params prop, and after, which is a new API. Using any of these automatically opts your entire route into dynamic rendering at request time. Let's write some code to understand better. Back in VS Code, let's modify our about component by importing and using the cookies dynamic function. At the top, import cookies from next slash headers. Convert the component to an async function, so export default async function about page, and within the function body, const cookie store is equal to await cookies. Then const theme is equal to cookie store dot get. Let's pass in the name of the cookie as theme. We will log theme to the console. Don't worry too much about what we're doing with the cookies function right now. We're just using it to trigger dynamic rendering for this about page. With this code in place, let's build our application and inspect the output from dynamic rendering. I'll first clear out the .next folder and then run npm run build in the terminal. This will take a moment to generate our new .next build folder. First, let's look at the build output in the terminal. We can see all our generated routes listed. Pay close attention to the about route. It has an F symbol next to it. If you check the legend, you will see that F indicates dynamic rendering, server rendered on demand. The next important point to remember is that dynamically rendered pages aren't generated during build time. If we inspect next, server, app, we will see HTML files for index, dashboard, and not found, but we won't find an HTML file for the about page. Finally, let's start our application with npm run start. In the browser, when we go to slash about and empty cache and har reload, the page renders on demand and you will see the lock statement in the terminal. Name theme value light. This cookie was set when we were learning about the cookies function earlier. Check out the network tab and you will see both the preview and the response containing the HTML. Each time you refresh, you will get the latest time. If you inspect the build folder, there is still no HTML file generated in the server folder. Since we're building a new page for each request, there is simply no need to store it. What I've just explained might seem trivial after understanding static generation builds. However, it is important to remember that building our application and running the built app is as close as we can get to production deployment, so I wanted to make sure you understand how it works. Here is what we've learned. Dynamic rendering is a strategy where the HTML is generated at request time. Next.js automatically enables it when it encounters dynamic functions like cookies, headers, connection, draft mode, after, or search params prop. Dynamic rendering is great for personalized content like social media feeds. One of the best parts about Next.js is that you don't have to stress about choosing between static and dynamic rendering. Next.js automatically selects the optimal rendering strategy for each route based on the features and APIs you're using. But if you want to force a route to be dynamically rendered, you can use export const dynamic is equal to force dynamic config at the top of your page. Supporting the channel is free. Please like and subscribe. It helps a lot.